Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got our hands on issue number 30 and we're making the checkered star square. This is the checkered star square that we're going to be making. It's sometimes known as the scrappy star as it's a great way to utilise all your fabric scraps and leftover remnants. To make the checker star square, you'll receive the lemon spot, blue floral, teal gingham, and the vintage floral. Also to make the checker star, you're going to find your templates on the back page which they recommend you copy onto light card and cut out. But we've made quite a few patches now and I've got the B, the D and the F templates from my template box which we've used in previous patches. I'm going to follow the guide at the back as well and work out the placement of my template pieces on the fabric, I'm then going to start cutting out my fabric. Let's get cracking. So on the lemon spot fabric, we're going to need two of the B templates. On the blue floral, we'll also have two of the B templates. I'm going to cut out the B templates first. I'm now going to use the F template and cut out eight of these from the teal gingham. To do this, I'm going to fold our fabric in half. We're going to cut out four of these, leaving us with the doubled over amount of eight. We've got our eight F teal gingham pieces, which are the points of our stars, they're the triangles. And now we're going to lastly cut out four from the vintage floral of the D template. So all of our checker star square pieces have been cut out. I'm now going to lay out all of the pieces onto the, my board in front of me into the formation of the checker star. So 
So I've got the checker square laid out in front of me. Sewing machine set up and ready to go. My iron is on, so is my ironing towel. It's very important to press the seams before you continue on with your sewing. Let's get cracking. I'm going to start with sewing together the four in the center. So the center squares have been sewn together and they line up really nicely. I've um, very carefully pressed the seams before continuing on with my sewing and I think that's part of the trick. I'm going to be now sewing these three groups of triangles together. There's four lots of them. One lot down, three to go. So our four triangle sets have been all sewn together. We've got our centerpiece sewn together. We're now going to sew a square onto the end of the top and bottom triangle set. So if you can see, our panel is divided into thirds. We've got the bottom panel here, the top panel here, and we've got the center panel here. To create the third strip, we're going to sew these triangle ends onto the square centers to create a strip in the middle. So as you can see, our checker star square is now in three segments. I'm going to be stitching all three together to make the whole square. So here we have our completed checker star square. 
I'm really happy with how it's turned out. There are a few wonky donkey pieces, but I did think it was quite tricky to make and for that reason I'm quite happy with how it turned out. I hope you had success with your Checkers Star Square. Thank you for joining me today and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button and the subscribe bell so that you receive notifications of future videos. I look forward to seeing you next time with issue 31 where we start making Tabitha Twitchit applique character square. See you next time. Bye.